What is up, man? NFL 25 Gamers. Today's offensive tip is going to focus on a X-Factor formation, a formation we can use in third and short and, and two-minute drill situations, something we can use from the Redskins playbook that is really, really effective. And uh, sometimes it's a blitz beater, sometimes it's a man beater, sometimes it's a, uh, a you know, uh, whatever. But uh, this today is going to be a blitz beater. It, it comes from to us from the Pistol Wing Trio, and uh, the play is the FL screen. What we like to do with this play is we're going to run in two different ways. Uh, as far as quick audibles real quick, we like the zone weak sift. And what we do is when we hand the ball off, we're just going to cut it back. We just reverse field and, and basically use the zone blocking uh, to our advantage. So that's real quick. Get the, get the running play out of the way. I uh, like to use that just whenever. Uh, PA boot right, not a bad play. Not really anything special. Uh, I like the blue route. That's about all. I mean, it's just something to mix in. And then um, you have the verticals, I believe. Yes, we do have verticals. I like the A route on the verticals uh, just because it's a unique – gets in a unique spot, but it's not always, you know, it's not always needed. I really never run it. That's why I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time breaking it down. Uh, as far as slants, don't really like this play uh, just because you can create it with your hot routes. So you can do universal hot running and stuff like that if you want to. But the key to this formation is this play right here, FL screen. Run it in two different ways. The first way, we're going to drag Hilton. We're going to put uh, Richardson on a swing pass to the right. Motion him to the right. He's going to come back in the backfield like so. We're going to pass it to him, and we're going to go all day long with this thing. This thing, I've gotten get so many touchdowns on this run. Really effective, really effective play here. Um, that's the first setup, and we'll show it to you one more time. Wait, make sure you wait till he sets, but you don't want to wait too long so that the defense can't adjust to it. Um, but Richardson just breaking tackles. Um, and then another thing you could do with this is you could actually put the tight end on a wheel. And now you're going to have, like, so say they use a Richardson. Now you have that tight end on that wheel pattern to, to kind of just lob it up and just say, okay, you know, play a user catch game, whatever you want to do. But if, in, like I said, in the, in, in the example that they say, okay, we're going to user control, you know, you are not getting, um, gosh dang it, I keep forgetting to set my stupid quick audibles. But you are not getting this FL screen. You are not doing it. Well, if they do that. Well, then now you have that wheel pattern to uh, Allen, and it's going to go upfield. So if they're in max coverage, you roll, and you lob up, and then you play that user catch game. You know, Allen's 6'3", and typically Grimes, they won't be in zone. Typically, they'll be in two men under. It's just I don't have the plays to show you right now, but but that's that's the basics of, basics of the, the, the thought process of it. Uh, but the main thing, you really really the only thing you need to know is this little screen. It really is a freakishly good screen. Uh, Pistol Wing Trio, guys, I, I love this screen. So that's setup number one, and then setup number two is a little mind, meta mind game. They're going to start to use that. They're going to start to kind of crash down on it. So what we like to do is we like to like mess with their head. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on a flat pattern. He, in, in the regular screen, he's already going over there, so they're not going to know anything of it. But then we're going to put Richardson on a swing pass to the left, and not the right, the left. We have to actually put him on a swing pass once we motion him over. The, that's the only problem with it, but they're going to go to the left thinking it's a screen left. It's actually a screen to the right, and Allen's going to go for big yards, and you're still going to keep getting them. Now, eventually what's going to happen is they're just going to use that place completely over, and they're just going to say you are not throwing this screen. If they do that, you have this drag as a check down. And you know it's it's just something it's just something to have so that you you know you don't have nothing. And if they go max coverage, if they go max coverage, you can bomb up this post route. Obviously, I don't have any time because I'm not actually going max coverage. But but you can bomb this post route up uh, to Reggie Wayne here if they go straight out and say you are not throwing screen and you are not throwing drag because I'm going to use two man under. If they do that, then you can just throw this deep post up. And I'm telling you, that deep post is money in the bank. Man and zone, really effective. Been effective all year long. Okay? So in combination with those those two screens and the zone weak sift, X-Factor formation, baby. This is something, we don't use it as an actual two-minute drill. We actually use this as just a, uh, I, I actually use this as like the first play of every drive sometimes. Um, as my controller problems continue, um, but first play of every drive, or, or, or just sometimes wrinkle it in, similar to that um, that triple option. Both of those I would consider X factor plays in this offense. And then uh, one other thing I wanted to give you guys before I left here, I wanted to give you one other screen because I have a lot of screens in this playbook. I uh, I was playing Zan the other day. Sometimes I get screen happy. I'll throw like 75 screens, and Zan's like, "Dude, I know how to stop screens. Stop throwing them." And I was like, "Oh crap! Yeah, you're right. I, so I threw them a little too much." But um, it's the idea that you have all these different cool screens in this playbook. Um, 
But the screen out of the pistol Y trips, uh, and the plate is the Y receiver screen. And it's just a screen pass, is, is really it. And it's the same thing. You're going to put Richardson on the uh, little swing pass, but you see when you motion to the right, he's actually going to go into the slot. Now, this is. It, it's, it's not really problematic. It, it's actually. It's not bad, but it's. I don't know. You you could do what you we could do whatever you want, um, obviously because it's your console, it's your game. I personally, if you were gonna motion him out, but put make sure you put Reggie Wayne on a drag and make sure you're throwing that ball as soon as the ball snapped. And it's not it's not as big play, but I think it has more potential in terms of the other things you can do off of it. But what I like to do is I'll just swing him to the right and then throw a little shovel pass. And and um, you know most of the time it works well. Sometimes it works bad. It, but typically, it works pretty good um, if you can get the blocking. And that's just like with any screen, if you can get the blocking. So, And then the cool part about Pistol Trio is you have this... Um, uh, you have four verticals, of course. We all know how that works. And you got this PA deep in. I really like the PA deep in because this in route is very effective against man. So, a lot of things you can do here. But I personally really like that wing trio over the Y trips. But some guys like white trips over trios, so do what you want. But there's two X factors for you. Redskins playbook. Enjoyed it a lot this week, guys. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. And uh, hopefully you guys will see how it all works in the full game.